Howdy folks, Mountain View Russ here in Mountain View, Arkansas. So I'm um, fixing to start on my solar installation. I've, uh, I've got 600 watt panels. It came as a, a solar package through Sun Gold Power. And once I get it all installed, I'm going to do a, a video talking about everything. But uh, I've, so I've got six of these panels. And I'm going to use uh, aluminum ladder racks to mount them on the cargo trailer. Uh, I found these on Amazon. Uh, the Vivor had them. They was like $268, I think, for, for a set of two of these. And I found another company. I don't recall the name, but uh, if you're interested, let me know I'll, in the comments, and I'll, put, I'll find the link. Uh, $138 for a set of two. So I bought a, a two sets. There's another set in that box there. But you can see they've got a pretty good lift. I mean, they're meant to carry ladders on, you know, stuff like that. Uh, they're also adjustable. This is about nine feet wide now, so I'll have to cut it down uh, to fit my eight and a half foot box or whatever it turns out to be. So uh, to deal with this height, uh, I'm going to mount the uh, panels lengthwise, be three of them on each rack. There will be three of these racks. And in the middle, uh, the three panels on each side will share the center center bar. So I'll overlap the mounting brackets. So I'm going to put the mounting brackets on the, on the narrow end of each one. I've tested it, uh, just laying it together, and it seems to look work fine. And that will allow me to also set them down inside this rail just a little bit. So to deal with the height, uh, I've done a prototype on one of these, and I've actually cut it down. So by the time it gets mounted uh, on the top of the trailer, this height at the top of this bar which is where the solar panel will sit. It will sit down inside flush with this top. It will be about six inches off the top. Uh, and I can't get any lower. You know, I was trying to preserve this little brace here, uh, cutting it down. I was going to cut an arc, but uh, that's just too much work. So this tack welded right here. And I, honestly, I don't think it would really even need that brace because I'm not carrying ladders. Uh, not a lot of weight, although you do have wind, so uh, I guess all the bracing I can get uh, will be helpful. So anyway, these you know these come in pieces. It's got the bottom part that will bolt onto the top aluminum trim uh, and go into the steel uh, at the top of the box. And then this piece, there's a insert in the middle which is uh, comes out and I cut it to length and then this piece here and then they have a, a cap to go on top so anyway I'm gonna have to do that for uh, five more times and uh, that's my plan the the roof's still wet right now I've just did the uh, tropical today so uh, it'll be next week after Christmas before I can really get up there and start doing any installation anyhow I just want to give you an update on that. Uh, I may release this update just as is, or I may just uh, wait till I actually start doing the install and tag them all together. All right, thanks for watching. Howdy, folks. Mountain View Russ here in Mountain View, Arkansas. Rainy Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas to everybody out there. So uh, I did check the uh, roof this morning, and the silicone has dried up nicely i think i'm just going to do one coat so i've got another gallon of this stuff or better I'll figure out what to do with it's expensive so i got in from church it's been raining so i decided to work in the shop today and we're working on the uh, solar racks i uh, talked about these earlier in this video and so i've got all three of them cut down like i said they were about 22 inches tall, and there was uh, three components in each uh, bracket on the end, so they all had to be cut and you know smoothed out. 
bolted together. They came with stainless steel bolts, mm. uh, self-tapping screws. And there's still more screws to put in, but I'm just kind of mocking things up. So this is how I'm going to attach my solar panels to the top of the rig. Um, these uh, side brackets will attach to the trim rail up at the top. And when they go through, they'll go through the uh, angle iron on the inside at the top of the uh, trailer frame. So uh, because I built raceways or chaseways at the top, uh, I'm able to pull the, uh, the cover off that and get to the inside and put a nut on the bolts and snuck them down. So that's the plan. I think the very back set of brackets, I'm kind of boxed in by the... Uh, closet on either side of the bed. I'm not going to tear that apart, so we'll do self-tapping back there. I think I can get one bolt in each of the rear brackets, and then the rest I have to be self-tapping. So I'm going to have a 600-watt solar panel, so 600-watt total, and I'm going to be able to uh, double stack them in the middle here, so I'll have uh, the brackets on both of them, then they'll stack on top of each other. Uh, I'm probably going to uh, drill and put uh, stainless bolts all the way through. Self-tapping would probably work. Uh, or maybe I'll do both. I'll do the self-tapping just to get them secured and then drill through and uh, and do a bolt with a you know, nylock nut underneath. So we'll have uh, one, two, three. These these uh, racks are adjustable right now. They're in all the way. They're going to have to come out. Uh, I won't set that width until I get the end brackets mounted on the trailer. Be able to measure it and then cut the uh, the inner bar. It's got an inner bar that you slide out to set the width, and then you screw it in place. So uh, I'm going to run uh, a two two series, so a series parallel. So each uh, rack will have a series of three panels and then I'll parallel them together. And I don't have a lot of experience with solar, but I've watched a lot of videos like we all do. And, and uh, if I were to series the whole thing together and one panel uh, had shade on it, from what I understand, it'd probably just kill the whole thing. So if I do uh, series, series, and then parallel them, if one panel blocks uh, the output of three panels and the other three panels, if they're not in shade, we'll uh, keep on cranking out. So anyway, we'll find out. Be easy enough to do. So I just want to give you an update on this. This is uh, where we're at right now. I'm going to call it a day, Christmas Eve. Get in there with the family. So I'll... Uh, once I start mounting these on the roof, I'll, uh, I'll update the video with that as well. Thanks. Mm -hmm.